everyone welcome back to the channel so if you saw my latest community tab post you might have seen my little message on there to say i was taking some time um just a short little break um we had some bad news in the family um a death in the family and it was a blow it was a blow for us um so i've just been away i've been supporting my other half and, and the kiddies um yeah so and i've hurt my hand as well so this is sort of coming in waves the pain on this so it's feeling quite all right at times and then other times it's throbbing quite a lot but i just need to take my mind off everything and get back into a bit of coloring so i thought i'd do half an hour to an hour on the page i started last week so the page I started was in this Ken Matsuda colouring book and I did start this snail page. So on the video I posted the last week of this, the colour along, um, I did ask for your suggestions for names for this little slug and then whichever one I pick as my favourite name, when I've finished the page I will write it um, on the bottom of the page the name that i like the most so if you want to still put your suggestions in you can comment on this video um your suggestions for a name for our little slug um but yeah i did write all the colors down luckily because i would have forgot what i used for these flowers probably um but i'm going to continue with the flowers that we've got left up here in the corner they're going to be the same as these ones down here so i'm just going to have a little bit of a chat and do that um, this is the reference from the back of the book. Um, it was a teeny tiny here. So I just um, screenshotted that on my phone and then I blew it up and printed it a bit. So just so I can sort of go off, go off similar sort of colours. But obviously you can tell it's not the exact same here. Do you know what I didn't notice as well? It took me the longest time to notice that little frog on here. Can anybody spot the frog on this snail? Yeah, I called it a slug before. Why did I call it a slug before it's a snail? Can't see my brain's not functioning. Um, there's a little frog there. He's just sort of blending in with the moss on top of the uh, snail there. It's like blending in, isn't he? So I'm going to get zoomed in on these little flowers at the top here, and we're just going to have a little, have a little chatty chat, chat. So, I'm going to get this colour, which is Light Magenta 119. All the pencils I will be popping in the description of the video as well. So, I'm going to start off with this one down here. So, the way that I've been colouring this page was by just lightly putting the colour down and then blending the next colours into it and it really really worked well in making it look like a sort of watercolour effect it did really work well um, next I'm going to use the light red violet 135 and I'm going to put deepen up a little bit of that there and a little bit around here at the top And I'm going to get this light magenta 119 again. Just blend that out. I can sort of tell that my, my hand where I've hurt it, it's almost weak. It almost feels a bit weak, like, if that makes sense. I'm not gripping my pencils as firmly as I normally do. So I'm going to go in with a light cobalt turquoise now, 154, and I'm going to pop this on this little petal down here. I think this is a bit of the leaf, that little bit there. So the petal's sort of underneath here. So if we sort of go there. And then I'm going to use this cobalt green, 156, for this petal to the side of it. It's slightly darker than the colour we've just put down. And then I'm going to blend in some more of this light cobalt turquoise 154. And 
and then the center of the little flower i'm gonna use this what i can't pronounce so hopefully you can see it it's 247 i don't want to butcher that name again i'm gonna go in with a head pressure for that middle middle bit and then i'm just gonna use the ivory ivory 103 just to blend where we've put colour and it's as simple as that what I've been doing with these little petals little flowers so that's an emergency vehicle going past my house if you can hear it don't be alarmed this is pink madelake 129 and I'm gonna go in with this around here around the edges of this one a little bit The kids are playing on this baby game. I forgot what it's called. It's a game on the Nintendos. And it's a baby game anyway. And it keep, all you can hear is this baby crying. <laughs> That's what I can hear. I don't think it'll pick up on camera. But I can hear it. It's so funny. I'm gonna go in with some of the purple. Where's the purple? Light red violet 135. I'm just gonna dot some of this up here. And then I'm going to get a little bit of this darker pink. So the pink carmine 127. I'm just going to pop a little bit here. Just in the corner. And a little bit here on this petal. And then I'm going to go in with a bit of blue. So I'm going to use this blue. This is the ultramarine. One two zero, and I'm gonna use a bit of this around here. The blues do blend into the purple shades really lovely and create a sort of different shade of purple. And then I'm just looking at my reference. I think we'll do these little tiny petals here with this blue. I will deepen it up in the centre with another shade in a minute. I'm going to put a tiny bit of blue here just over the top. Possibly a little bit of the Naples Yellow 185. A little tiny bit of this up here. And a little bit here. And then I'm going to use this blue, this lovely blue that I can't pronounce, 247. And I'm going to deepen up the centre of this a little bit. There we go. I'm going to use this green shade, May Green 170, for these teeny tiny little stemmy things there stemmy things very scientific that Kirsty isn't it <laughs> now I'm going to get the ivory 103 I'm just going to blend where we've been trying to avoid the black liner then we don't dull it down just trying to go around and in between it as much as I can I'm not going to be able to avoid it altogether, but we'll try. I don't mind um, line art being dulled down when it's intentional, but when I want it to stay there, um, I really don't like when it dulls it down. Right, 
that's that one that's a nice one so next up I'm going to start off with some greens so I'm going to get the May green again so this is 170 I think it's leaking a bit washed out on camera for you I think it might be the lamp well it's a little close popped it up that's a bit better so I'm going to do this little one now and this I think we can zoom in a bit more if I bring it this way can't we so this one I'm going to do green in the centre so lightly again I'm just going to because you can build on the colours so green in the centre then I'm going to get a bit of the Naples yellow 185 and I'm going to pop some here just coming off the green onto this petal then I'm going to pop some of this darker green this is permanent green 266 and I'm going to pop a little bit of this at the top of this petal here You really can just play around and dot these colours around anyway and it gives it this sort of lovely effect. But I'm just thinking as well, I've missed a bit of this petal peeping out here at the bottom. Can you see it? Just before I carry on, before I forget, I'm just going to go in with some light red violet, 135. I'm just going to pop a bit there. Or else I will forget about that. And then blend it a bit with the ivory 103. That's it, just so I don't forget. Why we will, we will forget about it. And I've done it with the blue as well. Can you see the blue here? I'm going to pop some ultramarine 120 on this one there, I think. I'm a silly sausage. There we go, so I'm going to get the blue now. This is light cobalt turquoise, 154. And very lightly, I'm going to pop some here. And a little bit here. And I'm going to go in with a darker blue. So I'm going to use this one, I can't pronounce two four seven for this little petal here I'm gonna deepen that up a little bit now the center of this one i am going to do green again i think it's put with a darker green because i've obviously put a little bit of green there i'm gonna deepen it up with a permanent green 266 just the bit right in the center Gonna get some pink, pink Madder Lake 129. I don't know if my camera's focusing, but I am calling the pencils. <laughs> yeah, get my words out. I am calling the pencil names out, and yeah, hopefully, you can see what I'm using. <laughs> so that's that. I don't think there's any more pink I want to put on, maybe a bit more blue. Ultramarine 1 2 C raw, just on the edge of this colour here. There we go, and we'll go in again with the ivory 103, just to blend it a little bit. I hope you don't mind the silence anyway me just explaining what I'm doing. <laughs> I think because obviously I don't want to go into any details about you know where uh, family matters and I'm just a bit you know slowly easing myself back into it. So I'm gonna go in with the Naples Yellow 185 on the next flower. Yeah, I don't want to go into details. I don't want to, you know, family business pretty much. Unless I'm talking about the kids in day-to-day -day life. Family stuff I do try to keep to ourselves. I do, you know, like to keep it private. 
that's just me that's just my my preference uh, pink madder lake 129 we'll pop a bit here i have started getting more and more stuff for when the girls go back to school i like to get organized <laughs> i'm not as organized as some people but i do like to try and get organized ready for september and them going back and having all the fresh uniforms ready so fingers crossed Oh, we did, when we went round to um, the kids' grandma's house the other day, it was so cute. Um, the, ranty, the ranty was round with the two dogs. They've got two little pugs and they are gorgeous. I think one's like a cream colour, a cream or a fawn. And one's um, like a full-on black, just pure black little pug. Light red violet, 135. And they're the most gorgeous little dogs. They're so cute. And they're just running up and jumping on us. The kids loved them. Two girls they were. Molly and Lily. They're called. Absolutely gorgeous dogs. Very giddy though. I weren't expecting little pugs to be so giddy. We've never had pets, so we don't know what breeds are like, etc, etc. But I wasn't expecting them to be so full of energy. They was really good. Really friendly, though. Really good with the kids. They was. Really. So I'm going to add a bit of cadmium yellow 107 into this. Just around the edges. Mix those colours together and make this nice effect going on. It almost looks like adipans is these. What sort of flowers are these, I wonder? I don't know, but that sort of colour that I've created there sort of looks like a bit pansy-ish. It's quite nice. I'm going to add a bit of pink into this leaf. Er, uh, pet leaf? Petal. Pink Madelaide 129, I'm just going to add a little bit into that one. Just a little hint of something. There we go, I'm going to blend... What colour is the centre of that one actually? What colour do we want the centre? I think a light blue. Light cobalt turquoise 154. I'm just going to go in on that little tiny bit in the middle. There we go. Blending with the ivory now. I'm desperate to watch that Space Jam, that new Space Jam film. And the kids, like, obviously the kids weren't old enough to know of the first movie. So they're just looking at me going, what is that mum? Like, pulling the nose up at, up at it like they don't want to watch it. And I'm like, how can you not want to watch Space Jam? What is up with you? <laughs> I'm a 90s baby, so Space Jam was, you know, the big, big thing. A big movie when I was little. And um, yeah, I'm desperate to watch it and they don't want to watch it with me. So at least I can watch it on my own. <laughs> Cobalt Green 156. Has anybody watched it already? Anybody, anybody? Don't give me no spoilers. <laughs> I'm not sure I even want to know if it's if it's bad or if it's rubbish, actually. <laughs> I don't want to know. Only tell me if it's good. <laughs> then, I can, then I've got an, well, another excuse to watch it, really. Light Magenta 119. Gonna go into some of this blue with this. It's not very often that I actually merge different tones, uh, not tones, different colours of pencil together like this. Very rare do I do that. You're not creating another colour by putting layering two colours on top of each other, if that makes sense. I'm not sure I'm making any sense at the minute. My head's mashed, but I just needed to get on to take my mind away for a bit but there we go hope I'm making sense <laughs> it's 
So that's that one. I'm going to do a bit of yellow again. Naples Yellow 185 over on this petal here. Adding some pink into it as well. So some pink Madalake 129. Just on the tips. Then I'm going to do a really light layer of the Light Magenta 119. Really light layer on this petal. Like barely there. And a bit of the Cadmium Yellow. Cadmium Yellow 107. Just in the centre of that there. Again, very lightly. And then on this last petal, I'm going to go in with the Light Magenta 119. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this blue into it. Light Cobalt Turquoise 154. I'm going to add a little, a little hint of it around here. The centre of this one I'm going to do deep blue, so this one I can't pronounce, 247. And then I'm going to blend it all with the ivory, 103. really like this colour here, this blue going into this pink. You know what I didn't realise as well, when I started this section up here I thought that I'd finished this section down here but I've not, I've got like, is it one, two flowers here that I've not done? So we'll have to do them in a minute. I have one, two, three, four, five more flowers to do. <laughs> so fingers crossed we can get these done. <laughs> Chip chop Christy. Naples yellow 185. I'm gonna go in which flower have we got? This one. I'm gonna go in there. Pop a bit under here. There's an undertone. And a bit up here. And then I am just gonna go in with the cadmium yellow 107 and just add a bit of that just to brighten it up. Just on that petal. And I'm going to go in with some pink. Pink Madder Lake. 129. On this one. There we go. I'm going to get some of the Light Magenta 119. And I'm going to pop a bit of this round here. Over the top of that pink Madder Lake. And I'm going to do a bit of green, a bit of the May Green 170. I'm going to pop a little bit of this on this little petal. Has anybody bought anything recently? Purchased anything new? I got a couple of boots, but then that was it. Light Magenta 119. So yeah, I, I bought this one. I bought the Draw You Lovely book, which I absolutely love. It's stunning. Um, Lucy just adds colour very kindly. Told me where I could get the... You know the Mouse Guard book? It's not a new one. It's been around a while. Um, the Mouse Guard colouring book. Um, it's been unavailable on Amazon for the longest time. 
and um i couldn't get hold of it there was one seller on amazon um a private seller and they wanted ridic something ridiculous for it i think it was 70 pound or something and i thought no way you know where you get them really ridiculous ones um but yeah lucy just had to color very kindly told me where i could get it from at a decent price so the only the only thing where i've got it from is that the shipping's taking quite a while um i'm not sure i think it can take up to a month to get to me um but we'll see like cobalt turquoise 154 yeah we'll see but it's worth it's worth waiting for rather than paying ridiculous there's no way on this earth i would pay 70 pound for that mouse guard book whoever these people are on amazon it's when you click on when something says unavailable if you click on other sellers and then that's when they all come up with the ridiculous prices how amazon allow them to take the mick like that i don't know um this blue 247 <laughs> Yeah, because some poor souls will, will be duped into paying that, you know, if they really want the book. I won't be paying it. This is Ivory 103. Yeah, but I've literally not done any, any colouring. I've done a couple of colour by number. Because it was easy on my hand. Um, just doing mega pens because you don't need to press on with those. And um, yeah, I've not done anything. I've not picked anything else up apart from this today. Continuing with this page. So yeah, it's nice to come on and have a little chat. But I probably won't be uploading as much as I usually do still. Just because, yeah. Still upsetting over here. It was a big part of our family. A really big part of our family. Did I say what pencil this was? Light Magenta 119 I'm using here. Sorry guys. And I'm going to go in with some more blues and deeper purples on this one I think. We'll get some purple violet. One, three, six. I love these with the word violet in because my daughter's called violet so every time I read it I'm like oh my little violet <laughs> I still love that name I loved it when I picked it because I had my first bomb was a ruby and then I thought what's a nice sort of unusual but pretty name that's what I was looking for Sort of, I didn't want something too common that you hear every day. I wanted something a bit more unusual, but not too unusual. So that's where Violet came from. And then um, I had Amber. Then I had Hazel. And then I had my little boy, Casper. But yeah, all the, the middle names are pretty as well. Well, my first born was, um, her middle name's just my middle name. So we've both got the middle name Lee, spelled L-E-A. And um, my second born is Lily, so Violet Lily. My third born is Amber Rose. Um, Hazel's middle name is Ivy. So this is Dirt Cadmium Orange 115. Yeah, so... I've got Hazel Ivy and then our little boy Casper, we give him my partner's middle name, Robert. So Casper Robert. So that's where the names have come from. <laughs> Cadmium Yellow 107. You know what, I never struggled to pick any names as well. As many children ever as I've had, I've never struggled to pick a name out. I know with some people, you know, they don't have a name for the baby like until a week after they're born and things. And I'm like, oh, I had them them names picked out, you know, during the first couple of months of pregnancy. I had the name; it was it was there. <laughs> I've never struggled with that. Never. So this is May Green one seven zero. 
I know some people say, um, wait, wait till you see them for the first time to see what they suit, what name they suit. But I never understood that. I don't know. I never understood that way of thinking. Did anybody else do that? Wait until they were born to see what they looked like? What sort of name suited them? Light Cobalt Turquoise 154. It was so nice when our son was born because obviously we had the four older girls. So we already had four girls and we decided not to find out the sex of um, our little boy. So when I was in labour and everything, I still had no clue if it was a girl or if it was a boy. So the surprise was just brilliant. You know, you can imagine after having four girls and then I'm handing you the baby and being like, it's a boy. And I think sometimes the surprise is just really nice. Ultramarine 120. I sort of wish that I'd have left all of them as a surprise. You know, I think we're all too eager to find out these days. And I have to say the surprise was amazing. I know sometimes it's not necessarily... Um, What's the right word? You can't sort of prepare as much in the way of... You know, if you want something all pink or all blue or if you really like to be organised in that way, it doesn't allow you to be, but, you know, I loved it. I loved the surprise of him. So I'm going to add a bit more of this orange. So this dark cadmium orange, 115. Keep holding it too close, I'm forgetting I'm zoomed in, I do apologise. So I'm going to pop a little bit of it here. And then I'm going to add a bit of this deep pink, pink carmine 127. I'm going to blend a bit of that into the orange. Just on this side. And then, get the ivory again. And blend it all together. Ivory 103. There we go. Last flower up here, which is this little one here. I'm going to do quite a lot of blue on this one. So I'm just going to firstly put this sort of cobalt green down, 156. It's more of a blue, that, to me. Unless I'm going colour blind. But it looks more blue than green, that, to me. So I'm going to put a light layer all around that back petal and the front petal. And then a little tiny bit here. I'm going to pop some of the light magenta 119 on the end of this one and a little bit here a little bit up here I'm going to bring a bit of green into it so a bit of the May green 170 I'm just going to add a little bit of this just here. And then I'm going to darken up the centre with the blues, with a darker blue. So I'm going to use this one, 247, which I'm not going to keep pronouncing and butchering the name of it. So I'm going to do the centre with that one. And then I'm going to get the ultramarine blue, one, two, zero. I'm just going to deepen up some of this. Deepen up some of that and some of that at the back. That's looking nice. There we go. And I'm going to blend it with the ivory, one, zero, three. Now 
that's that now i've just spotted there's a little one here as well this is one of the flowers peeping out there's two little petals peeping out there so i'm just going to do them really quickly i'm going to base them with light magenta 119 so starting off with a medium pressure at the base and then lift it up into a light pressure and just leave it white on the ends and the same with this petal so dark at the base and then lift it up and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow into it and um, the Naples yellow 185 so I'm going to add a bit of that into it the top if you can hear children they're just playing nicely at the moment actually there was being a bit wild earlier on there we go and i'm gonna blend with the ivory again one zero three so that's that one so all i've got to do now are these little two little flowers here so we'll do those ones and these i think i'm gonna start with a may green one seven zero and i'm gonna use this this little petal here i can't wait to do the shell on this snail but i'm also a bit intimidated by it because <laughs> there's like it merges into this grass and it is a bit sketchy so there's like there's no end to the grass there you're gonna to have to sort of make your own ends to the moss and i think what would be best to do first would be colour the shell and then colour the moss so you can bring a bit of the moss onto on top of the shell possibly that's the bit, best way to go i'm not quite sure i've been trying to think what's the best way to approach it so i think that's probably the best but i think that's going to be in part three guys <laughs> I'm not stopping on too long today, it's just to get me back into it a little bit. I know I've only been gone a week, but normally I'm doing some sort of art every single night. Like some sort of colouring every day. And I've not touched a colouring boot for a week, so... Yeah, just thought we'd get back into it a little bit. <laughs> so I'm using light cobalt turquoise 154 for this bottom petal. Really lightly. I'm going to put a hint of orange, no not orange, terracotta. I don't want it to be too bright. So I'm going to use a hint of terracotta 186. Just sort of in the centre there. It's a sort of orangey colour but it's not in your face bright orange. It's just giving it that hint of something. Then I'm also going to put a bit of it over here as well. And I'm going to mix this into some pink. Oh, so I'm going to get the pink carmine, no, pink madalake 129 and mix a bit into that terracotta. And I mix a bit in over here too. And a little bit into the green. I'm going to get a bit of the ultramarine blue now, 120, and go deepen up here in the shadow a little bit. <laughs> Did you hear my daughter then? She said, I'm Princess Hazel. <laughs> so cute. Cute, but naughty. <laughs> she is. Deepen up a little bit of this blue as well. And then the centre is going to be this deep blue. And those little bits. There's teeny tiny little buds on the end of there. There we go. 
So the last little petal here now we've got. So I'm going to go in with the Pink Madder Lake 129. Around here. And I'm going to get some of the Light Cobalt Turquoise. 154 and go around the edge with this bit. I'm going to pop a bit onto this petal as well. And then we're going to go into the light magenta 119. Over here. I'm going to pop a little bit of this here as well. Then I'm going to pop a little bit of green, so the May Green 170, I'm going to pop a little touch of it on this petal. And a little touch around here. And then I'm going to do blue in the centre again. So I'm going to start with the Ultramarine 120. Those little bits and I'm gonna add a tiny tiny amount of this deeper blue 247 there we go I think that's all the flow is done let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole thing I think that's all the flowers so we've done the little snail's body and we've done all the flowers so I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, next time when we come on, I think I'm going to start with a shell. Yeah, I think I'm going to start with a shell and then do all the sort of foliage and the frog after the shell. But hopefully we can get that done all at once. So the next time you see a video from me, it might take a while. Um, I'm still taking some time away. But um, the next time you see this on camera, hopefully we'll get it all complete. So get your suggestions in for what you want to call this snail. Because once I've completed the page, I'll be writing his little name there. I'm going to pick my favourite name from all your suggestions. So thank you so much for watching and catching up with me. Please do hit the thumbs up on your way out and subscribe if you're new. And drop me a comment down below with those snail suggestion names. Thanks for watching everyone and see you again soon. Bye.